Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Maple Wireless Combo C4 Dual Band Antennas Kit. These long range oriented patch antennas support both 2.4 and 5.8 GHz bands and they were especially designed in order to extend the range of the DJI FPV drone. In this video I'm going to quickly go over their features and specs and perform a range test on C mode using the DJI FPV drone. First of all, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, VRWave. VRWave design and sell custom prescription lenses for different head-mounted devices, including the DJI goggles. I've been using their corrective lenses for the last couple of months, and so far I'm very pleased with them, as in my opinion, they provide a much better experience than using prescription glasses along with the goggles. In addition, these high-quality lenses fit really well inside the DJI goggles, they will enable you to fully adjust your IPD and in order to reduce eye strain, VR Wave offers the option to add blue light and anti-glare filters. They also offer worldwide shipping and I was told that they are going to have nice promotions for the Black Friday and Cyber Monday events, so in case you are in the market for prescription lenses for your DJI or VR goggles, be sure to check them out. Now back to the Maple Wireless C4 antennas. In terms of packaging, inside the box you are getting two arrays of two linear patch antennas, two 45 degrees SMA antenna connectors, four plastic parts that are going to enable you to easily secure the antennas to the goggles, and this optional antenna which is supposed to extend the range of the radio controller. Here you can see what it looks like when the antennas are connected to the goggles, so having two linear antennas on each side are going to provide you with a very good front coverage. As for the specs of the antennas, their gain is going to be higher when the mode of the drone is set to 5.8 GHz and their beam width is going to be wider when it is set to 2.4 GHz. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test the Maple Wireless C4 antennas using the DJI V2 goggles and the DJI FPV drone which was restricted to C mode which means that the band was restricted to 2.4 GHz and the maximum output power was set to 100 mW. What you can see right now on the screen is the actual recording of the inner screens of the DJI goggles and the video that was recorded to their micro SD card. Now by the way, at the time of testing the antennas it was extremely windy and since I used a phone which was connected to the DJI goggles in order to fly the DJI drone, it wasn't very convenient to control it. As you can see, I was able to achieve a maximum distance of 2.7 kilometers, and the reason I had to turn around is because I got a low battery warning, and the drone told me that I have to turn around, as otherwise return to home is going to be initiated in 10 seconds. After turning around, the video became choppy and actually the video feed on the phone that was connected to the DJI goggles completely froze and the DJI goggles stopped recording the video to the micro SD card. Inside the goggles, however, everything became stable after less than a second and I was able to take control of the drone and return it home safely. Now since I don't have a vast experience flying the DJI drone and it was actually its maiden flight, I would like to get your feedback and know what is your experience using the DJI V2 goggles along with the DJI drone on CE mode. So I think that 2.7 kilometers is a pretty good distance considering that I was flying on CE mode and your feedback is going to be very valuable. Anyway, in my opinion, the DJI FPV drone is not intended for long-range flights as its battery capacity is not sufficient, but in case you would like to extend its range and especially if you are restricted to CE mode, upgrading the antennas of the goggles is definitely something that you'd want to consider. Now by the way, in case you are familiar with my previous side-by-side -side comparisons in which I've compared different DJI antennas, you'd probably think that this test wasn't very scientific and in my opinion you would be correct, that's because of technical limitations of the DJI drone and soon, based on your feedback, I plan to compare the C4 with the DJI stock 
and I fly crystal antennas using the DJI 5.8 GHz per unit, so stay tuned. Speaking about the iFly crystal antenna, I've been using it for quite a while now and I can tell you that this antenna set is definitely a good upgrade over the stock antennas and in case you are debating which antenna set you should go with and you don't want to wait for the side-by-side -side comparison video, I can tell you that the major advantage that the iFly crystal antenna has over the C4 is that it is much more travel friendly and it is going to provide you with a better coverage in case you are not just going to fly in front of you as it is using omnidirectional antennas. Having that said, keep in mind that the iFly crystal is not a dual band antenna and it is not intended to be used with the DJI FPV drone. Anyway, that's going to be it for my review of the Maple Wireless C4 antennas. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. I would like to thank again Via Wave for sponsoring this video and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.